Hello traders, Rich here and here's a quick but detailed update on EURUSD. As usual, if you like video analysis, let me know in the comments or simply leave a like. So let's get started. As we clearly see, EURUSD has been overall bullish, making higher lows and higher highs trading inside this rising wedge pattern. And we are currently in a correction phase, just like previously. That's why we'll be looking for bar setups around the lower band of this wedge pattern to catch the next impulse movement up. But of course, this is from a long-term perspective, we're expecting this movement. However, for now, EURUSD can still trade lower to test the lower band or even dive inside the support before trading higher. That's why, no matter how strong a support is, we don't buy blindly. We zoom into lower time frames for extra confirmation and for our trigger. On H4 time frame, we can see that this latest bearish uh, movement is engulfed by this channel and we are currently also approaching the lower bound of it. So lower bound of this brown trend line and uh, orange uh, channel and as we dive lower we'll be also looking for bus stops but we'll start to look for bus stops starting from now because price is already around the lower band but there's an entire zone so we want extra confirmation if you zoom into h1 time frame we can see that this latest impulse movement is engulfed by this channel in red on m30 time frame we have a new swing high formed around the upper trend line. So as per my trading side, I'll be waiting for a break above this last swing high. In this case, this would be our trigger. It would be a confirmation that the bulls are finally strong enough to take over from a shorter perspective to catch this correction movement till around the upper round, of course, where we'll be looking for trend following sell setups. But for now, as I always say, let's take it step by step. If this happens, if we have a momentum candle close above the upper trend line and the last major high, we can go for a long position. Of course, the stop loss will be below the previous low and we target a one to two risk reward ratio to have an edge over the market from a risk management perspective, which would be around the upper bound of this falling channel from H4 time frame. That's it for today. Best of luck, and I'll see you hopefully on the next one. Bear in mind that we can still trade lower from here, and we want the bulls to take over by breaking above the previous high. See you soon.